Trump facing the task of addressing rising terror concerns in the Middle East and around the world. Mr. Trump refusing to go into detail about those plans to fight ISIS. But Rudy Giuliani is saying that will likely be the president's first foreign policy goal. Listen. This is short term, I believe, is our greatest danger. And not because of ISIS in, uh, in, in, in Iraq and in Syria. But because ISIS did something Al Qaeda never did, ISIS was able to spread itself around the world. Well, that's true. Rick Cornell, former spokesman for four U.S. ambassadors to the U.N. and a Fox News contributor. Rick, good morning. Good to have you with us today. Good morning, Martha. So your thoughts, I heard you say that you were ecstatic about the future for foreign policy in this country under President Trump. Why? Look, you know, one thing that we always talk about in the foreign policy community is the threat of a credible, uh, a credible threat of military action. We, it's not just a, a threat of military action, but the word credible is really important. And I think what we've had over the last eight years are international partners who don't think that it's credible. Uh, President Obama has mocked military action. He's made political promises to say that he's not going to start any new wars. And so I think it's really important for people to understand um, at the UN, in the international community, our friends, our allies, and even, even our enemies, that Donald Trump sends a very credible threat of military action. We have one president at a time and this current president, President Obama, has still two and a half months before he leaves in late January. ISIS needs to be told that it's not, it doesn't have a free area until early February. That would be a disaster. But Rick, don't What's you think that the president right now that throughout the Syria is really say, troubling? Understood. But don't you think that they would say that they're doing airstrikes every single day and that they have pushed ISIS back uh, over the course of their time there? Uh, I don't buy that we have 63 coalition partners and NATO and we've been bombing for five plus years and we can't find the command and control center. We have a problem with intelligence, and we don't have accurate and timely intelligence inside Syria because President Obama made a political promise before he started looking at the classified information in the intelligence, before he even entered the Oval Office, before he saw the threats, before he saw how much uh, our enemies were even fomenting against us, Martha. He made a commitment to not start any new wars and to bring everyone home and no boots on the ground anywhere. Yeah, That's yeah. not a, a credible uh, military national security criteria. That is a political promise that you make in the cornfields of Iowa. And that's what we've seen for eight years. What Donald Trump is gonna do is restore the, the threat of a uh, credible military action. I'm telling you the diplomats at the UN are gonna be uh, knowing immediately and are already excited to have U.S. leadership. They, including the French and the British, by the way, are tired of the Americans not having ideas, are tired of the Americans not having any uh, plans. They're not calling Security Council meetings. They're not taking actions. They don't have ideas. That's a lack of U.S. leadership. Right now, there's a cruise missile, uh, an aircraft, uh, aircraft carrier, I should say, Russian aircraft carrier, um, off the coast that is sending cruise missiles into Syria, trying to hit the rebels there um, and trying to get ISIS and the Nusra Front as well. Your thoughts on why Russia would be taking that action at this moment? We know that they've been allied with uh, Bashar Assad throughout the course of the last many months. They want Assad to stay, and the U.S. policy under President Obama has been that Assad should go, and the Russians feel compelled to uh, put military hardware up against President Obama because there have been no consequences. They can do what they want. So I think what we need is we need a president that can, can reach out to Russia and can kind of figure out, look, what, what are our goals here? What can, we, what can we work on together and where do we differ? I mean, look, we've got a NATO ally in Turkey 
that wants Assad to go, and they're fighting the Kurds inside Syria. The Kurds are an ally of ours. So the, the place is a mess and just in terms of organization. What John Kerry needs to be doing is doing more planning. I don't want to give up on this administration. We've got two and a half more months. They need to do the right thing. We shouldn't send a message to all of those in Syria and all of those around the world that you have to wait till early February when we're going to have a credible threat of military action. Yeah. All right. Rick Grinnell has played a role at the U.N. for many years.